I'll give you an example. I have a, uh, I have a plumbing and HVAC company that I work with here in Calgary. And I was tooling around on their Google Analytics. And I went to one of their pages. And there's a visualization tool in analytics that shows you where people are clicking around your different web pages. And in this case, there's a small little button down on the bottom of his website that, was, that said get financing. <coughs> and it was for furnace installation, H, or air conditioning installation, hot water tank installation, right? So think of it this way. It's January minus, oh my God, and your furnace goes, right? It's not like you have $5,000 or $10,000 just sitting under the mattress waiting for this to happen. Um, you know, you may need to get it financed right immediately, right? So people were coming to his website and clicking on that 23% of the time when they were hitting those different pages on average. And when you clicked on it, it took you through to a page that really didn't do anything about financing. It just told you how they priced their stuff. So they were kind of going, yeah, well, I don't know what that means to me. And I said, okay, here's what it means to you. Roughly 10,000 people hit that page or those pages in the good course of a year. 23% of them or 2,300 of those guys are looking for financing because they probably don't have the money to go and just pull this off. So start doing the math on this. Even if you got 10% of that, that's 230 sales and your average sale is gonna be $10,000 on this. So start doing the math, right? So first things first, Take that thing, move it up higher, and then when you click through on it, it'll give you the relevant information that you have to convey to these people so that they can sign up for financing. So these are the sort of things that Google Analytics can do. Those are just two examples. I can go through numerous different ones with you guys.